video I'm going to show you how to use physics translations. We have physics translations basics and multiple for multiple objects. So we are going to select this cube and we are going to add two frames. So our animation looks like this. We are going to add the setup so right now this is our current result we can change it real time if you want to increase or decrease the overlapping effect and also we can give him more weight or less weight for people with slower computers, you can use play every frame or you can change it to play real time. You can also key these values. So, for example, we can select our cube and yeah, we select our particle by by uh, moving these sliders so we can for example key it right here and you can see in your channel box all the information being keyed so for example I want him to have this intensity but then I want him to stop give him another weight or something like that so this would be the result and we can change this after we are happy with our result we can press magic in if we go to animation layers we can see now that we have a new layer called pq1 translation and you can tweak the layer weight so as you can see and you can also mute and this way you never lose actually your initial keyframes so they are here and you can add more for example we have this layer here but we want more so we can set up again and add more overlapping and if we press magic again now we have another layer that we can change the weight much like photoshop you know and yeah so we can also have it applied to many objects for example let's animate this like So we have these objects and we want them to have some kind of overlapping so we press supreme magic new layers will be created and if we play all of them now have physics. <laughs> 